today we're going to talk about constructing skies for landscape quilts. Much as traditional quilts are built on a grid, which is symmetrical, landscape quilts are also built on a grid, which is much more free-flowing. Today we're going to focus on skies and how you might interpret those into a grid. We'll start by using a printout from a photograph. Now ideally you would start using tracing paper, but it's going to obscure the image here because this is quite light. So we're just going to draw directly onto the image itself. Now, to see a grid here, I'm immediately seeing there's quite a strong line there. And you can see that these wisps are going up into the sky here. I'll just get my pen to do what it's supposed to do. And there's a quite a strong one coming down this line here. So to make this grid, continue on, I'm just choosing to put that line there and you can see quite clearly what kind of a grid that that makes to represent that sky. Here's a completely different kind of an image, more of a streaky autumnal sky where you've got strong lines which are much more uh, horizontal and not much vertical in this kind of an image. That gives an idea of what that kind of sky is. Now to construct this sky, you might want to put a very oblique other angle in. You still want it to feel streaky, but you want to create the grid so that the construction will work well. In a cloud formation like this, this is a different kind of interpretation because you're going to try and pull in some of the lumps and bumps of these cloud forms so that it looks completely different. I'm seeing lumps this way. And then again, here's a nice, here's a cloud there. And you could go on doing this and it actually doesn't matter what you see. The point of it is to make yourself a consistent grid for the construction of the sky. And then when you're talking about colours later, you can see how they will work together. Have a play to find which grids best express different skies. For more hints and tips, subscribe. Or click the link to purchase my book, Patterns in Landscape, to find out lots more ideas. See you soon.